Hey guys, today I wanna to talk about hands and hand health, especially when it comes to the tendons that work so hard to help us pick things up, climb up walls, and do our jobs. Hey, it's Charlie Merrill with Merrill Performance here in Boulder, Colorado. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I appreciate all the new subscribers that have signed up. I have, I have this tendency of like, uh, being inspired by themes of injury patterns that I've been seeing in a given week. And this week is no exception. I've had a number of uh, CrossFit athletes and rock climbers that have come in with uh, little cysts, little bumps, little hot, hard like nodules in their tendons, um, in their fingers, or in the, the palm of their hand. They feel soft and they're not bony and they, they're not attached to anything, but they're embedded in the tendon. And it's a sign that the tendon has uh, been overloaded to the point where maybe there's been some breakdown and our bodies are then trying to reinforce the, uh, the tissue uh, so that um, basically in an attempt to heal. Um, the challenge is the nodule usually sticks around or tends to get bigger and our body sort of forgets that there's something uh, left to do. It never, I guess it doesn't complete the job is how I would describe it. Um, it's very common in athletes that do a lot of gripping um, and a lot of uh, strong hand work. So you can imagine crossfitters and climbers are at the top of that list. Um, as a manual therapist, I work with my hands uh, a lot during the day. And so I, you know, I, I, I stress my tendons, uh, especially my flexor tendons uh, quite a bit. And really anybody that works a lot with their hands um, is going to have, over time, probably some wear and tear uh, in the soft tissue, especially if they don't take care of their hands. What I wanted to share with you today is if you get one of these little nodules in your finger, uh, what are you going to do about it? With the athletes that I saw this week, um, we talked about how the hand is really a representation of what's going on in the system. And when I talk about a system, I'm talking about um, uh, the health of the, the body starting from the neck, coming out through the shoulder and the thoracic outlet, and then traveling down the arm. Um, the hand is sort of at the, the terminal end, the downstream end of um, a system which is bringing blood and nerve input um, up and down from the hand. So if the hand is suffering, and this is true with almost all hand injuries, elbow injuries, there's generally something that's not healthy up in the neck and shoulder. And it's very hard to treat these things effectively uh, without treating the neck and the shoulder. Um, treating the hand locally doesn't always work. So I have a nodule right here, um, sort of in my um, palm of my hand that's in my index finger tendon because I use these fingers a lot in my work. And um, I also use them climbing and crossfitting and you know, I fit this pattern of, of having a little bit of tendon thickness, tendon adhesion and, and nodules. So um, this is a tendon that over time I work hard to kind of minimize the size of and help it continue to remodel, help it get better. And for me over time, over the course of this year that I got this little nodule, um, it's shrunken in size. Uh, it's, it's almost never tender and um, and it's starting to go away. So I want to share with you some of the things I do uh, and some of the things that I help these clients do to get their tendon nodules to, to be smaller and hopefully to eventually go away. So one of the things I do in the clinic is to uh, use needles to help the body uh, stay focused on helping this tissue to continue to remodel and heal uh, back to its healthy state. And um, I can very easily, you can very easily palpate um, a nodule if you have it in the tendon. Um, I'll take a needle and I'll tap it in there. And then I'll just kind of explore around that thick stuff and break up the uh, scar tissue. What this does is it brings a huge immune, immune response to the tendon a lot of blood flow and a lot of healing. And again, it sort of cues the, the brain like, hey, there's an issue down here, come fix that. But you know, that's not really super necessary um, for most of us in order to um, get this tissue to heal. One of my favorite strategies is sort of a pin and stretch for the fascia to break up adhesions. Um, I'll start with the finger flexed like this so that the tendon is maximally short. You can even flex the wrist a little bit. I'll get my thumb right over the nodule and I'll put pressure on it back towards the palm of my hand or back towards my wrist. Once I get it pinned, I don't let it go and I slowly open up that finger 
and even extend the wrist. And you can see it turning white. You can see that change in the fascia where I'm breaking up adhesions. I'll let off tension. I'll close the hand again. I'll get tension right into that nodule. I'll pin it there and then I'll slowly open up the fingers. And you'll feel this release um, all through this tissue in here. You can see how it turns white and at the end you get this huge amount of blood flow again, which is just gonna help with healing. It's gonna keep your body, your brain sort of focused on, hey, there's an issue, come and continue cleaning up this mess, don't give up on it. Another trick I like to use to help uh, with the health of the tendon and to keep the tendons gliding through all these pulleys and sheaths in the hand is something called tendon gliding. gliding. And I use this a lot uh, to warm up before I rock climb and even sometimes before I crossfit when I'm gonna be doing a lot of gripping. Um, we, have three, we have three joints in our fingers, a distal, a middle, and a more proximal joint. And you're gonna basically uh, go in order, blocking, uh, the, blocking the first two joints and just trying to move at the distal joint. Then you're gonna skip down and you're just gonna move at the proximal joint the one closest to your palm. And then you're gonna skip back up and just move the second joint, the one in the middle. So it's the one furthest away, the one closest to your palm, and then the one in the middle. And you're gonna go through that a number of times. What you're gonna feel is that depending on what joint you move, the tendon is gliding through a different pulley. First joint, third joint, second joint, and then I like to end with just making a fist like that. I would do 10 of those, and you'll feel like the sensation through your palm, like things have been moving. You're breaking up adhesions, and uh, you're stimulating the tendon as it passes through all the pulleys, so it has minimal restriction and the, the best blood flow possible. Another strategy that I find really helpful um, is to mobilize the nervous system. And I talked about how the nerve can get uh, compressed or blocked somewhere from the neck, shoulder, down to the hand, and how that affects the health of the tissue in the hand. So if I'm dealing with a problem like mine, where I'm feeling it mostly in the palm side of the thumb or the first two fingers, I'm gonna take my arm out to the side in this position, so my fingers point down, I extend my wrist, and critically I have to drop my shoulder, I have to keep my shoulder relaxed. And this is best if you kind of rest your hand um, up on something, but this is the position you generally want it in. You can also put it against the wall and pin it against the wall um, in order to hold the fingers open. But I'm trying to get the whole median nerve, the nerve that innervates this part of the hand wound up, and then I'm trying to, to gently stretch it. So in this position, I feel just a little bit of tension in these three fingers and in my palm. I can mobilize the nerve by moving my head away because it's continuous all the way from my neck down to my fingers. So I'm going on tension, off tension, on tension, off tension, relatively gently. Um, or I can move my elbow. I can keep my head this way and I can go on tension, off tension, on tension, off tension. Generally, if you're dealing with a hand problem, uh, you'll get the best uh, effect in the hand by moving the head, um, which is backwards from what you what you think, but that's just how nerves are. If you're having trouble in the pinky side of your hand or the, the fourth or middle finger, sort of these three fingers or the palm, and you have nodules in those tendons, you're gonna be mobilizing the ulnar nerve, which is a different nerve, comes down through the funny bone and then down to this hand. So if you remember when you were a kid, you took your fingers like this and you made upside down goggles. This is the position where you're gonna be able to best mobilize that nerve. It's very easy to do. So you can do one arm at a time. You can bring your arm up into that position, pull your elbow back, relax your shoulder. And then again, you can take tension into the nerve by moving your head away and back towards. So it's on and off, on and off, or you can move the elbow on, push the, the fingers against the cheek, and off. On and off. On and off. And you're gonna feel tension coming down through the palm into these three fingers. It might feel nervy, different from a muscle stretch. Um, I usually recommend people start with maybe 15 to 20 gentle reps to make sure that it doesn't irritate anything. Um, but it should decrease in sensitivity over the course of time. So these are some of my favorite uh, strategies to help mobilize the, uh, 
the, the soft tissues locally in the hand as well as some of the tissues that um, are connecting the neck and the hand. Go back and check out my videos on how to use the foam roller to open up your shoulders and pecs. Um, watch the video on how to mobilize the thoracic spine. Having mobility through this part of your body is what sets up our hand uh, to be as strong and healthy as possible. Check out the videos I've made in the past on scapular stability, the low trap, the serratus anterior. The more uh, control and quality uh, movement you have around your shoulders, the trunk, proximal muscles, the more dexterity and control and um, uh, power you have in your hands. One of the things I want to leave you with is that these things are treatable. These nodules do not have to stick around. Just like a, a hard spot in the Achilles tendon, if anyone's ever had that problem, um, these things should, can and should get smaller with time and it's a sign that the tendon's getting more healthy. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Click the like button if you like what you saw. Um, leave me comments or questions. I love knowing that you're out there. I'm looking forward to putting out new content, hopefully a weekly video. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know. Take care of your hands and they'll take care of you. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.